I saw a hut, and I thought I could steal it from Scott, but his spearman beat me to it. So I guess the best I can do now is hang out over there and menace him. Ooh! Get some ruins along the way. I'll need a real unit here pretty early, but like I said, I'm going to build a moderate military pretty early in the game, so it should be fine. This guy can grab this. Uh, that guy won't come out, probably. Circle back this way, protect the worker, and after I build the worker, I'll probably build a hoplite first. Well, I guess I can't build it first, because I'll need copper. No, I won't need that. That's right. Hoplites I can just build, experiment. So I'll just build the hoplite, and then I'll be good. Probably want, like, three or four hoplites. So that should have revealed horses on the map. And sure enough, check it out. One, two, three. There are horses within reach of Athens. So some companion cavalry is going to stream around this way in the near future, disrupt Scott's trade, and just sort of menace. I'm just going to try to menace him and keep him bottled up long enough to build a city somewhere here, maybe? Maybe like there? Even though this guy's probably going to get that too. The city, the city state, I might just bulk up. <laughs> I'm not going to conquer any city-states, because that's my power. So I might just make this an ally. This will basically just be a city of mine. So if I'm going to menace Scott, I could build one up here, but then I won't have a city connection, which will be annoying. So I might actually end up building a city here. Let's see what's down this way, though, because down here might be a good spot for a city, too. It's also worth noting that he has a power where his units are stronger, like his regular units are stronger in the water, war canoe. And he also has Amphibious Assault, I believe. So I'm actually, it's actually in my best interest to not build any of my cities other than Athens on the coast. So I think I'm going to build one down here somewhere. We'll see what resources pop up. But I see that citrus peeking. As for research, since I got the horses, I kind of want to get to my companion cavalry pretty quick, which would be going over here. That would also be giving up on getting the Great Library. And I don't know if I want to give up on that necessarily, but it was a disaster when Scott built it last time. So I think... Let's see, so I'm going to need Calendar. I actually need Calendar at some point relatively soon. I'll need Masonry for this, but I already got Mining. I think I can avoid that. Maybe I can just rush these guys early. Trapping doesn't get me anything yet. But I don't want to keep filling these out. I actually do want to push into something, get into the classical era sooner rather than later. I'll go for actually building that hoplite I talked about and actually finding iron, which will inform where I build these cities. It's actually kind of crucial since I can't build the city I wanted to build originally since Lhasa is going to grow. I need to know where the iron is and the horses are, and then I can make the best decision. So bronze working it is. Play to my strengths. So it looks like Scott also got a unit upgrade out of a hut, but I have a hoplite, and he only has a spearman. So uh, his capital is down here. I'm going to chase this guy up and hope I can keep him at bay, thus leaving him pretty much unable to settle because I don't think he'll have any other military units yet. Maybe he's building a scout. So I got to keep this guy away and hope that barbarians harass here so we can't actually safely get a worker or a settler out. Meanwhile, ooh, he's going to take that. I guess I could declare war on him now and just start harassing. Sure. They're nicely weakened. Uh, maybe I can just force the game to a quick conclusion. Oh, uh, I can ignore that guy. Shall the clay say to him that fashion? It appears that my uh, immortal enemy is having some trouble with barbarians, and I am not going to uh, assist here. I'm actually going to retreat from these barbarians. Uh, I was fighting his spearman up here, but he was able to salvage it by getting an opportune level up. He used it to heal. Uh, I didn't want to just have, I didn't want to risk losing this guy, so I just kind of moved around. I'm letting him fight the barbarians. I've scouted this area out, and I'm going to settle up here probably pretty quick just to deny him this area. I'm still vaguely thinking if I could sneak a guy over here and settling like here or here. There's, that's a very interesting spot to settle. I'm kind of limited by the edge of the map, but there's stone, there's iron. 
if I put it, I guess I have to put it like here. I'm not really going to get those truffles, unfortunately. But there's silk here. So I could put it here and it would basically just be a base of operations for wars. But instead, I'm going to move this guy down here. And just start exploring this bottom part of the map. Meanwhile, I've finally got a troop here. So these scouts actually are doing an admirable job of protecting my dudes. Especially this guy here. And I'm just going to keep using them to keep these barbarians at bay. This hoplite is probably not going to stray too far from here until I build a settlement down here, which i got to go send these scouts and explore shortly. Uh, you can see I'm pushing along. I'm going to play war. I'm just going to have a war-driven society. And I'm going to push culture, too, so that I can pretty rapidly fill this out first. At least I'm going to get that one. I, want, I can't have that many military units. I'm not going to play a big economic game like I did last time. So my plan is to have a small number of very experienced units. I don't want... If I can do it, I want to never lose a military unit in this particular game. So I'm actually going to take this one next... Then this one, so I can get here for the culture. I'll go, if Scott attacks me, I'm going to go here. Uh, otherwise, I might not even bother finishing this out. I'll only finish this out if I've made it to here. Don't really care about the final one. I don't think Faith is going to be useful to buy more great generals. And that one's not super important. It'll be useful, but we'll see. In terms of demographics, Scott's population is pretty low. Now remember, I've only got four here, so Scott must have significantly less. I actually can't see his capital. But he's got about half what I have. He's probably got two citizens as opposed to four, so I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I haven't actually leveled up any farmland. I just pushed this guy here. I wonder if he's meddling with his citizens suboptimally. I'm already beating him. I got a little bit more manufacturing. I got more crop yield, so my troops will just, or my uh, population, my population will be troops. It's just continuing to grow. I've got more land. Probably that means I pushed culture before he did. He probably built a scout first, or another warrior that are, he probably built something else early instead of a, instead of a monument. Because, well, I can find out for sure. 79. 130, yeah. So my land is bigger because I push culture. So this expanded more, meaning I have more access to food stuff. It's not looking great for Scott already. I don't, I'm, I'm going to harass the hell out of him. And I'll have enough of a military over here to expand and build a second city pretty quick. If there's a good spot for a city, I'm building it here first. If this is a mediocre spot, then I'm going to build over here first. And meanwhile, this guy is going to sweep around this way and explore and get all the huts. And then come back around and pester, pester, pester. And I'm going to try to just build a moderately sized army. Just try to gain experience killing these barbarians. And then just be over here ready to harass Scott. 